he he was mentioning that he was sort of giving this girl like you know a lot of attention and listening to her um but then she sort of still went for the bad boy and on all of that sort of thing and then i believe you so you sort of you paused it you mentioned that it's because she respects him and mm-hmm. i was just i was just going to ask what what why <laughs> why do girls like sort of respect the bad boy what is it i'm i'm not i'm not quite understanding it like what is about him that's just so so desirable If you don't understand that's perfectly fine. The reason why you don't understand is because women typically don't understand themselves. All right? A woman will tell you, "Oh, I want this. Oh, I want that. Oh, I just don't know what I want." And that if they don't know how on earth are you meant to know, right? <laughs> But what it boils down to is this. The reason why she respects him is because women know that men are sexually needy more so than they are. As a result of that, a lot of men will be happy to bend the rules. happy to just hang around like a sucker fish feigning interest in her pretending like he really cares about her problems and she will use him as that emotional tampon but deep down and they'll say nice things about these guys oh he was so nice he was so understanding mm-hmm. deep, deep down she knows that he has a, a underlying prerogative which is to eventually get sex if she said outright to him by the way i will never give you sex nine nine yeah. nine out of 10 of those men will leave She knows that he has an ulterior motive which means she also knows he is insincere. She knows mm-hmm. it. But she'll still use him for that attention because in that moment she needs it. And attention to women is like sex to men. So she'll take it wherever she can get it. Right, okay. Does so that make sense? so she's sort of like respecting him. But, uh is it just because he's he's just he's not acting needy, he's not ad- She respects that he is prioritizing himself over her. Okay. Because what does that tell her? That tells her that this man knows his worth. And and whether it's true or not by the way is irrelevant. It's the mm-hmm. perception. This man clearly has other options because if he didn't, he'd be behaving needy like all of these other beta males who are surrounding in my orbit. These other beta males in my orbit are behaving in this way because they need I'm their only option. But this guy, he must have other options because why else would he be willing to risk losing me if it were not for the fact that he had other options? And like I say, it's just the perception. He might not have other options. But mm-hmm. that's that's the translation. That's what's going on on in her mind and sometimes it's not even happening consciously. It's just right. subconscious. Okay, it's sort of like that perception that essentially he sort of has other options. However, all it, these other guys they sort of they just behave they manifest themselves in a way that shows that they can only get her she's like the prize she has all the power exactly if they had other options they wouldn't be wasting their time with her she knows this mm-hmm. she knows mm-hmm. this she, she doesn't respect them because she knows deep down they've all got an ulterior motive to get something from her whereas if they had simply just been like right off the rip hey yo this is what i want this is what i'm mm-hmm. looking for are you down great you're not down then that's a problem we're going to have to go our separate ways sure respect that does that mean you will win every time no it doesn't mm. but you know life is like a shadow when you turn your back on it it has an uncanny habit of following you whereas if you try to chase it you will never catch it right okay just a couple of that that was that was useful i i'm guess this sort of like links to a, another question i had if you don't mind mm. um and before you so, say that that question That reminds mm-hmm. me of a hadith that I can't remember off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Where Allah refers to the one who is chasing the dunya. Chasing, chasing, chasing the dunya. And mm-hmm. I, I'm paraphrasing. Someone put it in the chat, please. But he's chasing, chasing, chasing the dunya. And he will still only get what is written for him. And then he compares him to the one who prioritizes Allah and his deen first. And that Allah, that the world has no choice but to come to him. So if you like that clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, Click right here.